Hey, hello, this is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto. Today, I'm going to share a tu VVV tutorial of how to use Matcap inside VVVV. Uh, so, this is what Matcap is, and uh, so by adding texture, uh, so it's not a light based shader, but it's a texture based shader. So, I'm applying this kind of texture to the object, and it automatically gives you this. Uh, fake kind of like shaded uh, object and for example if I change the texture to something else like this one so this is texture preview and you can have your object lighted from this material so there should be like highlights around here and this blue highlight should be on the bottom so if you go to this sphere behind you can actually see that it is so because this is not based on light position, if you rotate it, you sort of like get the same result. So it's not really three dimension. It's I think it's based on camera position, but uh, I think it's really have uh, it's very handy when you want to have like specific uh, texture on it. Like for example, this one. If I want to use do this kind of shading in real time, it would be really heavy. But with matcap, you can have it really light and also easy so i'm going to share this tutorial for today and oh yeah let's get started um so oh yeah before starting the tutorial so the reason why i'm making this is i got a question of via instagram on how i did this shader and i basically used matcap for this and this person ashish geojazm01 so he he messaged me on Instagram asking how I did that, and I was like, okay, that's a good idea. I haven't I haven't thought of making a matcap tutorial, so yeah, that's the reason I'm making this. Okay, so let's get started. So for today, we're using this one called matcap technique from ZBrush, and the author is uh, Cat Whistle. Yeah, so he's the smart guy who made this, and until now. It wasn't really I wasn't really thinking that matcap would be an option using inside VVV. I didn't even know about it, but I had some project that I wanted to use like really nice real realistic looking shaded, but in the same time had to be light. And I found this matcap uh, plugin from Catwizzle. So let's download this. I already did download, so I'll just open up my folder. There you go. Okay, matcap dx11. So uh, this one, you have to put it in the pack, I guess. Put it in a packs folder and just open this up. So if you open this up, you already get the result from matcap. So there's nothing much that I should actually share here. But uh, when I was playing this with this, I figured out that there was one problem uh, using this uh, shader, lit sphere shader. And that is, for example, if I want to connect the sphere on it, like this geometry, boom. This plugin has a problem that uh, argument was not on range of valid parameter name, size in byte is missing. So I had to change something inside here to make whatever object uh, to work. Because I basically want to play with default object rather than uh, making another object in some other platform, and this one doesn't work um, with this based uh, basic geometry. Like for example, teapot doesn't work as well. So, but it works with a sphere that's made. Uh, it's an OBJ geometry, and that it works with that one. So, I asked my friend. I I can't code at all. So, I asked my friend if he could fix it, and he actually. Did. So I have a fixed version of this matcap and I'll post a link below so that you guys can download it as well. So if I drag and drop this one and if I replace this with uh, the one that uh, my friend made, and this one is number power, here, normal map, this one here, and I'll just delete this one and plug. Okay, so with this lit sphere fixed, you can actually have a uh, matcap working in DX11. Very smooth, no problem. 
with any object like sphere. Wait, what is wrong with this one? Oh, it's because it's Perlin. And also, nice thing about this uh, Matcap plugin is that it contains a lot of different Matcap texture inside lib file folder. So I was using this one for the glass shader, so I just drag and drop this one, put it in the file texture, and I just replaced the Perlin to the glass one and I can automatically have glass, it, glass kind of texture in it. Yep, so yeah this is super powerful and um, basically <laughs> this is uh, it for today. Oh, oh wait, 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 before that I was asked how I uh, made this one and I didn't use any single texture from this lib rather than that I wanted to have the specific uh, shaded looking so what I did is I made a new I don't remember exactly how I did it but I basically made my own I think I was using blur I think I changed this one Okay, so this is the result. So I'll change this by RGB zero. Okay, now I got this blurred. I want to make a bit bigger. How do I do that? Scale, vector, scale it up. Okay, this should work. And then uh, once you're done, you just connect it here. Oh, something's wrong. Uh, what did I play with? I think I made the blur higher. Uh, what was the difference? Hmm, it's white, so I think I changed the background to white. Yeah, this looks a bit similar to what I got there. So what's cool about VVV and what's cool about using MATCAP inside VVV is that you can actually make a material, a MATCAP material in real time as well. So for example, if you move the camera, if you make the lighting on this MATCAP texture move, then you can actually kind of have like light moving inside MATCAP, MATCAP as well. So you can do quite a lot of stuff here. So yeah, that's basic uh, way of using MacCap in DX11 in VVVV. And uh, I'll share you another thing. Uh, it's because this, for this one, I was using SDF. And this one only works with geometry. And what I did that there is I used the ray marching uh, MatCap. So uh, yeah, this field trip also contains a shader with MatCap. So by using this one, uh, sphere SDF, connect this one here, I just put it in the renderer, and then it has this one, and then I connect the blur here. Okay, and then I can have I can get the same result inside box SDF. So with this, I can easily get a nice looking matcap uh, shader inside. SDF to SDF or to a geometry, which means I mean you can apply matcap to basically whatever you want. Okay, so that was it for today's tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you. Uh, see you next time.